And you just I've got to add as well, this like sugar, man, it costs like a dollar, two dollars a kilo. Okay. It lowers cortisol. It makes you feel whew, more chill. It lowers your stress. These big, big uh, pharma, and I'm, I'm, again, I'm not against big pharma, all right? I'm against using drugs that have horrendous side effects to treat conditions you can treat with food or lifestyle adjustments, okay? Why would you take Xanax and Zoloft and Diazepams and Valiums and blah, 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 lithium, all these things when you can just have some sugar to lower your cortisol? Extended high elevated cortisol creates so many psychoses, okay? <laughs> the solution is so simple. Our human ego is shocked at the answer. Our human ego can't handle that. No, no, no. It's, it's, no, no, no. It's, it's, like, it's like you got your car keys on your desk and you've been searching, searching the house for two weeks. Someone goes, dude, they're on the desk. And you're like, do you think I'm dumb? I've looked at the desk. Yeah, but they're on a piece of paper. Look, no, no, you shut up. This is my house. I've been two weeks looking around here. I know what the deal is. You know, I've been employed and investigated to find my house keys. Do you know how much money that cost? Who are you? Did you go to university? You know, you can't find house keys unless you're in university. You can't tell me that sugar's healthy unless you went to be Like, it's just the ego, man. The fucking egos, man. Our egos destroy us. Your biggest enemy is your ego. A little bit of ego is good, okay? We've got, we've got a little bit of ego, a little bit of baseline ego. But when it, the ego starts to override our life potential and bring us backwards, all right, in, in health and mentality, that's when the ego is getting out of control. When we can't admit that we're wrong, when we can't apologize, when we can't own our shit, not just in private, but in public, that's when the ego has taken over our life. Ego causes a lot of mental decay, man. And so, yeah, have that sugar. Having a glass of water with some a few tablespoons of sugar in it, as much as you care for with sweetness-wise, that, that's like an ego dissolver. You know, just, just do the test, man. Have that. People are... I can't even drink it, man. He goes so far up here. Oh, man, it's like the sugar thing. It is nothing in the world opens up more social disapproval, a topic, in my experience. You, you, it's easy to turn a Muslim into a Christian or a Christian into a Muslim or whatever, you know, whatever religion people believe in. It's easy to convert religions <laughs> than it is to tell someone that sugar is got what they actually need more in their life. Like, they're like, even professional athletes, I coach world tour cyclists and runners, swimmers, USC fighters, and when I say add more sugar to the diet, every single time, they're like, what? But my nutritionist, I said, that's why you're working with me, because your nutritionist sucks. That's why your nutritionist has got a fat gut and doesn't have a lean face, all right? That's why you're having to starve yourself to make your weight cut, bro, Okay. I only talk tough on the keyboard to USC fighters, never in person. But that's the truth. And they know I'm coming from a good place, okay? That's why you have to use so much EPO, because you're carrying an extra three or four kilos that you could lose, okay? You can still use your EPO, but why? I mean, why are we using more EPO, or maybe even using it at all, when we could lose that three or four kilos and have the same performance benefit? <laughs> you know? Mind blown. To figure out what's per kilo. So that's just the reality, man. It's, it is just, oh man. This is, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, do it. Do the experiment, man. Test right, then decide. Look at all the testimonies on my Instagram page. Look at all the people who follow my advice long term. Look at all my girlfriends over the years. Every single one of them. Gorgeously slim. Not too lean, that they've lost their estrogen. Just right, okay? Just right. I mean, I'll flex and I'll more oh, abs and I'll rips and stuff. That doesn't mean shit. I'm just saying that, you know, sugar doesn't make you fat, okay? Sugar can't make you fat. Fat makes you fat. Or excess calories make you fat. No, they don't. No, they don't. As soon as I increase my fat intake, the starvation disappear. Okay? I could eat 3,000 calories a day of low-fat foods or 3,000 calories a day of high-fat foods. I'm going to be more fat on that 3,000 calories a day. Calories aren't calories. They affect your hormones. Every gram of fat you eat is stored as fat. Now you've got to go burn it off. Okay? I don't want to do more exercise. I'm lazy. I do enough. I do more. You know? <laughs> like I'm cutting to my time. I've got better shit to do than being a fucking treadmill trying to burn off a donut. Okay? Anyway, that's the deal. <laughs>